Hey guys, welcome back to episode 11 of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. So today we've got uh, quite a chilled episode. There's two SBCs that came out and I do some others which I'm not going to reveal yet. Yeah, this one's just a more chilled one. We, um, we've had loads of games. We just want to get rank 1 today. Like, that's the only thing we're aiming for. We're not, we're not chasing any uh, objectives or anything. It'd be nice if we got some along the way. So we start off with this Wamba Saka move to United SBC. We pay 1.2k for um, Perrin, but I know the pack you get, you get six rare golds. I know it's a small rare gold pack, but six rare golds is a good turnout for a, a chance to get someone good. And the other one, we just put loads of untradeable freeze uh, first owner players in. First pack, we actually end up getting a board, Spanish, left wing, Atletico Madrid. It's it's Asensio, and I'd take that because that one was actually a premium gold pack. So we got that in a pack that really didn't, well, really didn't require anything. Just uh, first owners. It took about three gold players out, but we're not really bothered about that because, as you see here, we're gonna try and do some gold two-player upgrade packs. These are I've seen people getting some good stuff out of these, and seeing this as a promo one to watch out. I thought maybe I'll try and get a ones to watch and if I get anything else it's a bonus like there's a good team of the week and everything so we do two because we haven't really got many players we want to give away and the first one is a walkout Uruguayan I was hoping Cavani it's Inter Milan centre back Godin I'm not complaining the first two player uh, gold upgrade uh, SBC we complete we end up getting a walkout I mean that's not bad to say we're just trading in like Argentinian commons and uh, SPFL, Scottish League players, championship players. Second, we're getting 82, which isn't bad. So I'll go ahead and do the last one. I shouldn't probably not submitted players like Nani and uh, this other Greek, uh, Portuguese left back. So it'll probably be worth a bit now. And it doesn't pay out anyway. We get a Hakan Chanaloglu, I think it is, from Milan. And they were both untradeable, so we had to discard them both, which was just basically throwing 11 players out for nothing and we start the gameplay here this guy had a crap team well no he had a good team but a crap well not a crap player up front but a player with no chemistry and we end up getting beat 1-0 and i had 65 percent possession in that and i am annoyed when i say i have more possession than my opponent i end up losing they have the ball than, more than me fair play they're, they're gonna beat me but if i have the ball more more shots and i end up getting beat it annoys me Gabriel Jesus scores a volley there, and he actually scores another one. I go off celebrating, we get a rage quit. That's two quick games out of the way. This guy had a decent little hybrid, still it's not better than my team. I should be beating this guy, and Van Beek on the like first touch finesse puts it in the bottom corner. That guy, Van Beek, if I get him untradeable, I don't think I'm going to pay for him because he doesn't fit in my team, and I'm not going to pay for a bench player apart from Wakehorst. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna keep him because he, he seems like a good player over 70 all stats I think he has. We find ourselves 3 0 down in this game. I was contemplating rage quit, but we get a goal back before half time. I think, hang on, this guy isn't the best at defending because this was the first time I actually broke through his midfield, and we actually get two goals before before half time. One he lost it straight from kickoff. We end up getting 3-3 three, three in the second half, and I was so glad I didn't rage quit. I was just... I mean, if I were to rage quit, this wouldn't have happened. Lucas Moura going through on goal, chips the keeper. Just cheeky. Just There's no need for that, and we actually get another win. That's two on the trot now. Well, the first one was a rage quit. And Dombele with a shot there. Deflects to Jesus, who can pinpoint a shot anywhere. Posting it. I had no idea what Pickford were doing there. I didn't tell him to come out. He just tried to prevent the corner, passed it straight to their player, and he ends up scoring. And he wasn't really in this game. We deserve to win it. Uh, Jesus going through, cuts inside, finesse into the side netting. Now, Jesus, even though he's in camp, is a player I am enjoying using. We let another easy goal in, which we shouldn't have. Pickford is looking a bit shaky now. I'm not really enjoying using him because I know goalkeepers are broken, but it's every single shot he's having is going in. Lucas scores again. He's a decent player as well. I'm I'm not regretting the pi uh, the price I paid for uh, Jesus and Lucas, the Brazilian duo. I think they're playing really well. I accidentally quick subbed uh, Jesus off for Brandt, and he ended up scoring, so I'm not going to complain. 
And after that message, uh, after that game, I got a message which was a bit of a bit of a salty boy that one who lost that game. So anyway, I tried to clear my head for this next game, but I was just I was just laughing in my head about that last guy. We ended up scoring a belter of a goal. If you didn't see uh, Chelsea vs Grimsby, that was Matt Green esque from Jesus. Beautiful volley from a, a hoof ball, long ball, whatever you want to call it, from uh, I think it was Luke Shaw who got the assist. Find himself 3 1 down, he has that man again, the man who we cannot stop, Leroy Sane. And Gundogan surprisingly played really well in this game. Sane can't be tackled, he just bangs it straight past Pickford, who are. I just absolutely like hate at this point. I just want him out of my net. Really and we end up getting be. one back, which is decent, you know. It's not a win, Gundogan. but it's one goal back in the last minute. The guy who scored two for him gets sent off. Gundogan gets sent off. This point, after conceding five goals to about seven shots, about, I think, six were on target, we get rid of Pickford and we go and buy Kepa. He's about 3k more, a rating higher, and he's got better overall stats. I think Pickford was an 83 just mainly on his kicking, he wasn't really a good goalkeeper, a bit stocky in the nets. We get Kepa, the first thing he does, it's my fault, I don't blame him for that, I bring him out and he doesn't save it. That one he should have saved, he dived the bloody wrong way and I don't know why he did. That one I brought him out again, you can't complain. But the, first, the, the second goal I think it was, he should have definitely saved that, I mean that wasn't my fault, that was just crap goalkeeping from the game. And another red card against us, but when I, well, it seems to me when teams get red card a red card against me I just start playing bad or they just get momentum I just can't stop it so he takes a one lead we get a beautiful goal back from that man yeah boy Gabriel Jesus what a player he is and we actually get a winner just about 15 minutes before time with Lucas Torreira so we actually do take an advantage with him having 10 men we actually do take his chances I don't know why that uh, that clip cut out then, but we actually did a skill move, ran into the box with Lucas, got took down, he didn't get a red card, and we actually put it in the top corner with 93 penalties on Gabriel Jesus. Pookie gets another goal there, well, good play from the right wing, and we get another to make it 3-0. This guy had a good road to glory team, this guy was a good opponent, I, I felt like he was a bit of a friendly guy. He, he, he didn't rage quit, which I thought he was gonna, he actually put some substitutions on when he paused it. And he made it 3-1. Pookie, though, gets for one goal. And he's not missing when he has that much time. Posting in. You can't get any better than posting in, really. He gets one back with uh, Depay. And he goes off doing his celebration with his fingers in his ears. And we have another win. Pretty productive episode, this one. I'm going to let this play out. We get, we, we, I think there's a coin boost this year. We're getting so many more coins. The last time I used to win and get, like, 500 coins. We're getting, like, 700 coins a game. So I've made about... About 60k off uh, match profits alone so far. And we're already a quarter towards the next foot champs if we don't get like silver one. I think it's like silver one that uh, submits you a place in the next one like automatically. You don't have to play any div rivals, which we will try and do next week. But as you can see, we're in rank one now. I don't think it's going to stay. I think the margin will be like 23 thousand but that is it for today's episode i will see you in episode 12 and thanks for watching peace